Today we're going to talk about what happens with water dilution in a classic drink like say a martini using a frozen bottle of vodka versus that of a room temperature bottle of vodka. It doesn't make any difference at all. Today we're going to talk about dilution and how it plays a part in your cocktail. Well dilution brings additional aroma and bouquet to your cocktail. It breaks up the alcohol, makes it a little less overpotent and intense, while also bringing out a lot of those aromas. Now typically we would use a gin for making a martini, I just didn't want to use gin in this specific case because this is a test and an experiment, not a full-blown cocktail. But if you talk to the master distiller of Plymouth Gin, Sean Harris, what he says is if you stir a cocktail in a mixing glass, you don't have to count any specific amount of time you'll know when it's ready by the bouquet and the smell of the juniper that comes out. However, we're going to use Dave Arnold's scientific method, which is 45 seconds stirring a cocktail is going to get you the right temperature, or 15 seconds shaking a cocktail brings it to the same temperature. In this case, we're going to be stirring because it's more of the martini base. Science suggests humans can detect one trillion different aromas. Research also seems to suggest that 80% of our perception is smell and 20% is taste. That isn't actually backed up with a lot of scientific backing at this point. Uh, research is still out on that, but it's kind of safe to assume that the aroma plays a bigger part than the taste itself. One of the reasons is your taste senses. You have sweet, sour, bitter, savory, or umami as it's typically re referred to, um, and all the rest is your olfactory. When you're talking about the smell of florals, meaty, spicy, and other nuanced and complex flavors, that's up in your nose. If you need evidence or your own personal proof of this, eat something with your nose closed. Or next time you get sick and you, you can't taste or, or you can't smell anything and you're eating something and it tastes just bland, that's science at work, my friend. And all of this becomes even more of a situation if you're using a higher proof gin, mostly vodkas typically, I don't know anybody who has a 100 proof vodka martini, but you can. Water plays even a bigger role. So how are we going to do this test? I'm going to stick standardized on ML because I'm going to do a small test and ML is easier to measure. We're going to do 30 ml of vodka we're, of each of these. We're going to do 10 ml of vermouth, which is about the right ratio that you'll see for a lot of different uh, martini recipes. We're going to add two cubes of ice, which I've pre-measured and weighed to make sure that they're about equivalent. Um, and then we're going to stir each one for 45 seconds. After we're done stirring, we're going to weigh it out and remeasure to see how much new ML appears that is the dilution. And from that, we'll know how much water was added. Why do we care? Because water is what is creating that dilution, which creates the aroma. If we have better senses of smell, presumably we want to have a little bit more water than less in our martini. We've got pre-chilled mixers, so we'll dump the water out and we'll do a test. I'm going to start with the frozen vodka. I'm going to measure out 30 ml into our beaker and tear it to make sure it's all equal. And then we'll put it to the side and we'll do the same with the vermouth. We'll add them with the ice at the same time so we don't get any longer dilution periods. Boom, 30 ml. 10 ml of vermouth. Put these here, shake off any wetness, throw it in here, add these two ingredients, now the theory is, because you're using a cold vodka, because it's been chilled, the dilution rate should be far less, because it's already cold. Let's see how math plays a part. ml. So with the frozen vodka, two cubes of ice, 30 ml of vodka, 10 ml of vermouth, we get a total of 54 milliliters of product. In the end you get 14 milliliters of water using a frozen vodka. Now let's try it with the room temperature vodka. 30 ml of room temperature vodka, now let's measure out our vermouth. 10 ml of vermouth, get our ice, pour them in, 45 second stir my friends, we'll see how this goes. So given you have 61 milliliters worth of final product here, 
what that tells me is the difference between with a frozen vodka versus at a room temperature vodka is a dilution of seven milliliters. What does seven milliliters look like? This, my friends, is seven milliliters measured out by weight. So what that tells me is we started with 30 ml of vodka. We added 10 ml of vermouth. At the end of this, we almost have the same amount of vermouth in water in the second test than in the first test. So, if you're putting your core spirits in the freezer to keep them chilled, what you're actually doing is you're limiting the amount of aroma that you're gonna get out of your drink. You're diluting the taste factor by not diluting your cocktail. You're increasing the amount of potency and reducing the, the beautiful aromas that you can get out of the drink. Sure, vodka doesn't have a lot of aroma, but don't you think it might be good to give it as much of a chance as you can? So think about it this way. If you're creating a martini at home with friends, or you're ordering them at the bar, and they're not doing the proper amount of dilution, this is what you're not getting in your drink. All that water to help break up that aroma and bring out the, the flavors of your martini, especially in a gin martini, which brings out beautiful floral flavors that is part of your olfactory senses, all being negated because you're not adding the right amount of water to your cocktail. At the end of the day, you have two options. Stop freezing your freaking spirits and drink them at room temperature because the dilution rate's right. Add yourself the equivalent amount of water if you are freezing your distilled spirits because that way you're gonna get the right tasting martini. So, next time you get a really crappy martini, maybe it's not the gin or the vodka that's doing it. Maybe the creator of that martini didn't add the correct dilution rate because they either didn't stir long enough or their product was at the wrong temperature to begin with. So make sure your water and your cocktail are at the right ratios. We're teaching you how to drink. It's gonna go bad and you're gonna hate this tequila? No, but what that tells me and you if at home, if you have an older bottle of tequila and you have a newer bottle of tequila and you're trying to figure out which one's better and that one's two and a half years old,